Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix Shopify. This store can't accept payments right now. Now, this is a very common problem. A lot of people have this problem on their Shopify stores. Now, we're going to be showing you guys multiple steps on how you can fix this problem. Okay, so first thing you need to do, guys, you want to log into your Shopify store. That's the first step. Now, the, the thing you need to know, guys, is make sure you check if this problem is related to your customers or if it's related to your Shopify store. Okay, so for example, uh, if your customer only received this message from one customer, they cannot purchase the item because they received this error that says this store can't accept payments right now. Now, if only one customer, probably it's because they have a problem with your bank account, okay, or like credit card, uh, it's not accepted or they are using like a virtual credit card. That's why they are receiving the error that says this store can't accept payments right now. But if all your customers receive the exact same error, then this is probably uh, because there is an error with your payment provider on your Shopify. So what you guys need to do is you want to click on settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on payments. Okay, so after guys you click on payments, you want to check if there is any notification or if there is any error with your Shopify payments. That's if you are using Shopify payments. Now, if you are using, for example, PayPal or Stripe, you need to check if there is any notification or anything that says we need to verify something or something needs to be verified. Probably they are asking you guys to provide them some business information. That's why they are uh, like all the payments is like, uh, that's why the, uh, like that's why they stop this okay that's why they don't allow you guys to like uh, receive payments from customers now what, what you need to do guys is you want to check like i said if you have like a problem with your shopify payments you want to verify that okay probably you will ask you guys for your driving license or uh, some business information or some personal information you just need to provide them that okay so that's exactly what you need to do okay if you are using paypal for example you need to provide PayPal for any the comments or any business information they ask you for. You can go to the any provider you are using and go to their website. For example, if you are using PayPal, you want to go to PayPal, go to your PayPal and check if there is any notification or anything like that that says needs to be we need some information from you. Okay. So now what you guys need to do, let me check here. Okay, so you will need guys to reach out to Shopify's support directly in order to troubleshoot this issue. It's usually the, uh, a case of Shopify needing to verify some information from you. Okay, so what you guys need to do is you wanna like, so like search for contact Shopify support and you want to click on Shopify support team and then you want to talk to uh, someone who is going to check your Shopify store and see what's wrong with your Shopify store so they can help you resolve this problem okay so you can just say something like uh connect okay connect me to someone and then the robot is going to connect you to a real human that will check your shopify store and see what's wrong with your as you can see can you share what's working what you are working on i can help find an answer or get you to the right support theme okay just need to explain here the problem that you have and they will take you or they will like get you to the right support team okay that and then you can talk to someone who is going to check which problem you have on your shopify store okay by the way like if you have this problem if your customer for example one customer uh received this error or two customers if this like if they tried multiple times to add their credit card and they received the exact same error which is this store can't access payments right now um like if they ha have you have they have they have if they have done this too many times uh, there will be a lock on their ip which will be removed within 24 hours like any attempts to process the purchase again during the 24 hours will restart the 24 hours timer okay once the time 20 to 24 hours uh, has ended uh, then you can uh, t like explain to them that you have to add the different payment method because probably you have like a problem with different with, with their payment method okay so if you still have this problem guys you want to like um 
like explain to me what problem exactly you have like if you are using paypal just let let me know in the comments what provider you are using i will uh show you exactly how you can resolve this problem across like according to your provider okay so yeah drop a like and see you guys in the next tutorial see you guys next video